Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to, I nearly said Forsaken Lands, no, <laughs> welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. Uh, it's been a little while since I've played in this world in, what do we call it, Seven Flags I think? Um, so my controls are a little bit all over the place, everything feels very hypersensitive, so apologies for the bad camera movement you're probably going to see in today's episode, but what I want to do... I want to build a roller coaster because we built this one a little while ago, I want to say episode 3 or something like that, and we built this water one not too long ago, but there, there, oh, there we go, bad movement again. There isn't, oh my god, <laughs> this is going to be annoying for the both of us. Uh, there isn't too much to this one, so I want to do another loop-de-loop -loop crazy one like we've gone over here. Uh, I want to have a little browse through though. What, what roller coaster shall we use? I'm thinking we do the stand-up twister coaster. I was maybe gonna do the lay-down coaster, but that has just an awful view when you go um, into the POV view, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because that is half the fun of the game, is building a roller coaster and then riding first person, so yeah, I want to do this one. I, I'm i gonna leave this area in the middle here open for now, um, and then we'll think of something to put in there at a later date. So I'm going to actually start it. Oh, this is going to be quite a ways away, isn't it? Where shall I begin? Uh, maybe just... How do I rotate? <laughs> I've forgotten everything. Uh, like this? Yes, okay. This is what happens when you play games for ages. You play another game and then you think that's same controls, but it's not. Um, let's put it... Oh my god, doesn't matter. Just place the blimmin' thing. There we go. I don't like that, but it's going to have to stay. <laughs> uh, I do want to have two actual trains, so let's do it a decent length. Maybe one more. Now, I want to check something. Did we go underground with this one? I don't think we did. I want to go underground with this one because that's always a fun thing to do. So let's, let's take it underground just straight away. So is that going to have enough momentum? I don't actually think it is. We're going to have to do a little drop. Hopefully this doesn't wreck the terrain too much. Let's do a little one. There we go. Okay, we're underground. That doesn't look awful. It kind of does, but it could be worse. <laughs> uh, then let's do a slightly steeper drop. I don't want to go vertical. I don't really like the vertical drops that much. It looks kind of weird if you don't do it right. So let's just drop down a little bit. Get some, get some speed right off the bat. Uh, we'll bring it to a level here. Maybe we should have a... No, not a photo. Should we have... Oh, is this going to stick out the top? No, that's going to be kind of cool. Let's do this. Hopefully that should be fine. Let's actually start running the uh, the ghost one. Okay, let's extend the amount of trains we want because that is not enough. Don't go yet. Hold on. Uh, let's do 10. Is that going to fit? Can I fit 10? No, I can't. It's going to have to be 9. There we go. Okay, do your thing. Do you make it? Oop. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Nice, that's a good speed actually, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. Um, and then we'll maybe do a small large bank curve thing, whatever they're called. I hope you guys can see this underground. I can, but it might, hopefully YouTube doesn't mess up the colours too much and ruin everything for me, but it should be fine. Um, then maybe we can just go like that, possibly, and then start a chain lift going up to the surface again. That should work, I don't really see why it shouldn't. Why can I not? Oh, it's in the way, is it really? Okay, change your plan, change your plan, change your plan. Uh, let's do that instead. Then do a little bit of a... That maybe? Or that? And then... No. <laughs> uh, let's actually... Right, here we go. This is actually difficult to see what is actually going on here, so I apologise. I may be doing a bit of cutting around in the edit because it might be just awful, awful content. Let's do a little bit of a helix. Do you make that? How far do you make it up? Good, nice. That's actually quite a good speed, I would say. Uh, we'll keep on this angle there, and then we'll bend it around a little bit and just sort of get out of the way of this track over here. There we go, and then we'll level it off. And now we can go up. Okay, then let's have... How do I do the loop-de-loop? -loop? I think we need to go up a little bit. Yeah, large hat. Oh, oh no, that is way too big. <laughs> that is not going to make it if I do that one. Um, Let's do... How do I look at this? Oh, God. That might be a... That's not going to make it if I do that. No way. It might not even make that, to be honest. Let's just see. Let's wait for the coaster. Ah, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see if it makes it. Hopefully it does, because I don't really have that much room to go down. Oh, that is... Okay, yeah, that, that would cause a horrible explosion and a crash. <laughs> there we go, I'll just, I'll just bump it on through with the other train. No, uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, change it up a little bit. I've got a little extra added bit on the end so it goes all the way down to the ground. Is that enough speed? That's a really nice loop to loop. Nice and scary. Just nearly stop at the top. <laughs> don't don't have um too much weight on there. <laughs> that will probably actually roll backwards. Uh what should we do now? I kinda wanna integrate into this one here. Have I put I gotta stop doing this. I don't need to have it paused all the time. I don't know why I do. Uh we'll get over here eventually. Maybe we can just have a little like tour <laughs> around the water um right there. Okay, I've changed it up a little bit. We brought it a bit more back, and we're going to do a vertical drop. Does that look okay? <laughs> That's very sudden, but I think that might be all right. If This probably would be one of those rides that people wouldn't really go on unless I had the cheat on. I forgot. You can, like, name a... I can't remember if I said this in a previous episode, but you can, like, name the um, guest. This isn't actually going to work, is it? No, it's not. Let's change that up then. Uh, it's night time. Go away. Um, you can like rename the guests and certain things will be changed. Like, you can change how fast the um, rail, the lift thing goes. You can change that all people will go on every single ride because otherwise some will be like, oh, I'm too scared. I don't like it. I don't want to go on. And then it's really annoying because you build this like awesome roller coaster and no one goes on it. Um, yeah. Okay. What to do now? How much speed do you get in here? A fair amount. Maybe we can do a little bit of this, and then is that going to make it? That's I don't see why not. That's sort of like the same height. It's a little bit lower, so it should, in theory, using physics, <laughs> be able to make it. But this is only a game. Bear in mind. Um, okay. Oh, this might actually work perfectly. I wanted to do a ha. Nope. Yeah, a half loop. And then a corkscrew through the thing. <gasps> it does work! I kind of wish it was back one more, but I can't do that, I don't think, unless I wanted to push it forward all the way up here in the corner. But, yeah, no, not happening. <laughs> there we go, that worked somehow. I have no idea how, but we should be all good now. Can I place a track there? Oh, yeah, that is nice and intertwined. I really like that. Um, let's level it out here. I kind of want to... I don't like it when they, like the roller coasters stretch out too much. They look better when they're all confined and intertwining like we've got here. So I might actually leave integrating this bit over here just because it'll probably look horrible. Hmm, I don't know. Where should we take this one? Underneath? Should we go underground again? Let's go underground again. Why not? Let's just take a deep, deep dive into the depth below. Depth? <laughs> I, I have a bit of a lisp right now, apparently. And I can't even say lisp. Um... Vertical or just slightly steep? Let's just do steep. I, I think we'll do vertical when we have an actual coaster designated for that. Um, you can get ones that like hold it, hold you over the edge. There's one at, oh, what park is it? I want to say Alton Towers that like holds you over the edge and you just dive into this deep, dark hole of despair. I don't know. <laughs> um, so we can do one of them in the future. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Having said that, the park is actually kind of filling up already. Like... There isn't that much room left. I would hazard a guess that maybe I could fit two or three more roller coasters in, possibly. Um, they are my favourite thing to build in this game, obviously. The rest of it is sort of just placing in a ride and letting people go on it. Um, okay. Is that deep enough? Sure. Why not? Uh, then, maybe we should just come straight back up. How is this going to work? See what that does. And then like that? Okay, are you going to make it? I'm not even close to being able to see, am I? Nope. <laughs> okay, here comes one now. Over the first loop. Very nice. Through the... Co or second loop, sorry. And then down underground. Quickly, look! <laughs> yeah, that comes up fine. Perfect. Okay, this is difficult to see, but it's got a little bit of a corkscrew into a half loop. And then I've got a camera set up here. Did I actually place that down? I think so. Yes, I did. Uh, I'm thinking we bring it back up to the surface now and try and f maybe fill up this area a bit here because it's a little bit open. Oh, finally I can breathe again. We are back on the surface and I don't know what to do to fill this area. Maybe we can go up again. Is that going to be in the way? No, it's not. Fantastic. Let's just go. Doodly 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 doodly. That is a weird angle. 
Okay, uh, I kind of don't want to go any for perfect. Um, that's not that high, but I think we might be able to do something with it. Like a so. Okay, that might be a little crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Right, what should we do to fill up this gap here? We need something else. But I just don't know what. There's, no, there's nothing. There's no options. There's no options here. Maybe a little bit of a helix going downwards. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, let's go along a bit, and then we want to give it a little tilt. Here we go. Okay, I don't actually know how close we are to the ground here. Very close is the answer. Let's do a large one instead then. There we go. That fills up a little bit of it, uh, space. Yeah, okay. Um, I might start wrapping it back to the start now, actually. Oh, we can see if this makes it. That was awful. Was it just me or did that seem very, very slow? It makes it, thankfully. Yeah, that is quite slow. <laughs> um, but it makes it okay. That's all right. Um, let's flan it out here. How much speed do you have? A fair amount. I don't think you'd manage a loop to loop, but you might manage a barrel roll. Okay, I kind of went a little bit crazy over here. I'm not sure if this is going to make it because it doesn't have that much speed, I don't think, but. Oh, that is almost too slow, but I'm going to keep it because I can't really be bothered to do anything else. Now, oh man, those are some slow things. That is going to be quite terrifying. <laughs> um, but I'm going to keep it because I'm lazy. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to bring it back to the start now because I am completely out of ideas and we're also running out of space. Is that in the way? Very much so, I think. Nightmare, yeah! Uh, it's all completed. It's looking a little crazy. I've not, not Nightmare WW, thank you. Stop. Um, I've basically just done a bunch of black and dark colours with a little bit of whatever this one is. <laughs> um... It looks kind of cool. I don't know. Let's actually take it for a little bit of a test run, shall we? I think I've got everything ready to go. I haven't done the path in yet. Obviously, I'll do that in a minute. But let's take a seat and ride this puppy straight underground. Also, I haven't done any of the, you know, decorating or anything. Oh, my God. This is weird. This is very weird indeed. Um, you can actually change the light color. I think I might keep it, though, because it's okay. This is bizarre. Okay, you know, underground doesn't actually look like this. It's not this cubicle, I don't think. I will save you the pain of the wait and take out all of the all of the uh, waiting lines, or whatever they're called, the pulley things. Okay, loop-de-loop. -loop. That is a actually fairly fast loop-de-loop -loop for what we're going to actually see in the future. Oh, we got this one pretty fast, actually. Never mind. Not cutting this one. You have to sit through it with me. We're riding this ride together. Okay, down we go. Woo! Yeah! Can't remember what's now. It's I've done a lot. <laughs> this is quite a long ride, I'll be honest. Oh yeah, we go up a bit and then a half loop, then a corkscrew, I think. Yeah, I like that bit. That bit that bit's cool. Back underground. And back up ground. I don't know what just happened then. I think it was a barrel roll. <laughs> I'm I'm a bit disoriented right now. That was a camera we just went past there. Okay, it's a little hectic right now, but that's okay. <laughs> I even put in um Chain, chain lifts, that's what they're called, chain lifts, and I did not need it. Okay, down we go. Woo, yeah. I'm waiting for the really slow bit, but I can't remember when it is. Oh, it's that bit right there. In a minute. Once we get up this thing here, I believe. Oh, yep, a little bit of a bow roll. Okay, after this. Here we go. Ready to just fall off the top and just <laughs> plummet and hit the end, uh, the ground. Oh, God, that is horrifyingly slow. So is this one. Not quite as bad. I don't think that would actually be like... Oh, that looks ugly. Did you see that there where it was like turn in one way and then turn back the other? I can't bother to change it now. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Uh, that's pretty good. I like that one. Let's open up to the public. I'll sort the pathway out and mm, decorate a little bit, I think. Alright, guys. I've basically just done what I've done with every single one so far. Place a load of trees and um, a couple of Jurassic rocks and I've got a dinosaur there. I've also added in a couple of these type of trees, the dead trees, because it's called Nightmare after all. Uh, how many people are actually on here right now? 37. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so people are going on it, which is good, obviously because of the cheat that I have <laughs> to make people go on it all. Um, but yeah, safest spark again. We've won a lot of awards while I've been building this. I say a lot. Most beautiful, best reliable, and the safest. What more could you really want from a theme park? Let's be honest. 
Uh, yeah, I, I like this. It's becoming a lot more crowded. I'm actually thinking this series isn't going to be on much longer. You know when I said, I, I think I said, um, I'd have room for maybe two or three more roller coasters? Yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> um, unless we get rid of this, which I have no idea how to do. Uh, we're pretty much running out of room quite fast here, but uh, it's looking... It's looking cool. I like how this is how this is turning out. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you'd enjoy it. I hope you liked the roller coaster. Um, oh, you're not sick of the POVs yet because I love it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys ever so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.